All right, today's video is a little bit experimental. I mean, the feature that we are going to be building is a little bit experimental. And why I'm saying this is because it's not working as it should. The animation itself is very nice and smooth, but I, it has that weird effect where it looks like it's reloading. And I came to realize after trying to fix this for about a day, uh, why? Because I have used the grid widget of Elementor, which it's in beta, but still experimental. So that could be a reason. There can be so many reasons why this doesn't work, but because the Elementor code is so nested, I cannot really figure out. So if you can figure out, let us know. Let's get into it. All right. So the first thing we are going to be doing is we are going to add a grid to our page. And I'm going to choose the three by two or two by three uh, grid. And I actually do not need two rows. I only need one. And I'm going to let the auto flow to be row. And I'm also going to uh, set the content width to be full width. Uh, this is important. So this needs to be set like this. Otherwise the images will not move on the page. They will not flip. All right, so let me just give this some margin top so we don't have the grid on top uh, to bother us visually all right it's there let's go to our grid and set the width to be a hundred percent and of course this is going to be a hundred percent and we are going to add a container in here and this container is going to be 50 vh and it's going to be full width and if you want you can set the content to be center align item center and everything else center but of course this depends on how you want your content to be arranged on the container itself so i'm gonna go to layout go to additional uh, options and set my html tag to be a section and voila we have our first container section and i'm going to actually go and add a heading in here and i'm gonna just say one and I am going to do this with all the containers where I'm going to number them. So you see how they move on the um, page. So let me just change this color. As you know, I hate it so much. All right. So I'm going to leave that as is and I'm going to duplicate this another five times. And then we are going to set images in these containers. So let me duplicate. Let's go and set this to an image background. I'll choose this one and I'm not going to change anything here. You know how this is done. And if you're wondering how these images have been generated um, with Mid Journey, I mean, you should try it. It's amazing. Anyway, I am going to do the same for all. Okay. So let me just publish this and let's go have a look on the front end. Okay, that's the old one. This is the new one, right? More or less the same. Obviously, the images uh, should be centered and everything else. But right now, we don't really care about this. Okay, let's add another container on top of this one. And this container is going to hold three buttons. Okay, I'm going to give this container some space on top instead of the other one. Uh, oopsies, right like that. And this one, we're going to just limit it to 50. All right. So now we can add our buttons in here and I am going to just add one button and then style it and carry on. All right. So this is going to be the grid. Um, Actually, I'm not going to style it too much. I will leave it like this and duplicate. This is going to be column. And on each button, we will be uh, adding classes, column and rows. Columns here. All right, let's set everything to be centered. Um, yeah, here, yes. All right, set, uh, centered and 
let's publish and i am going to add um i think i said classes earlier we're going to add css uh, ids instead so this is going to be grid this is going to be columns columns and this is going to be rows of course easy to remember and also uh we are going to add two classes on our grid container and we are going to have this be grid and container you can change them with whatever you want as you know as always just remember to do the same in the code and honestly i would not change them because it's going to get confusing and things might start not working so keep that in mind okay so now it's time to add our html tag in here so i'm just going to drag it and i'm going to add it in here right now it's commented out but let me just uncomment all right so whoops where are we let's have a quick look here all right so as you can see here and here and here these are the functions that make the buttons uh, basically con connect the buttons with the grid so we call upon the ids and when we click this is going to happen here so if you don't want one of these um to be part of the grid so for example let's say you're not interested in having columns or rows you can just simply delete this so if i comment it out the columns uh, button is not going to be connected so when you click on it nothing will happen just keep that in mind of course delete also the button from there okay for now i'm going to leave it like this because i'm going to show you the whole thing and then we will come back all right there is another thing that we need to do and as you can see here we have uh, two classes rows and grid and columns and we only have a class that is called grid but we do not have the rows and the columns and these two classes are going to be shown in here um, dynamically so they are added in the dom dynamically and we need css for this otherwise this is not going to work at all so let's go to advance and we are going to add the css code in here and as you can see the columns and the rows convert to display to a uh, flex uh, direction row and flex direction column so from grid the basically the grid transforms into flex box so this happens dynamically all right so let's have a little demonstration so we are in grid mode i'm not going to style this but let's have a look how it works so right now we have columns set on click and now we have rows uh, don't be uh, confused by this uh, the images have not been styled as uh, it should so this should be a no repeat and then we would have the image in the middle just so there's no confusion <laughs> i got confused myself anyway i think it has a cool effect though so let's set them to be uh, in a grid format also pay attention at the bottom of the page when i switch between the buttons the the layout as you can see there's a little overflow happening here so we, what you can do is basically go to the grid container go to layout go all the way to additional options below and go and set this to be overflow hidden so now this is not going to happen again so let's have a look as you can see it's not happening but for me it's very annoying that this uh, animation doesn't work as perfect as it should it bothers me but still <laughs> i'm putting it out there so let's do it again and have and keep a, a look on what is happening so and again the the, the animation should stop there and then that reloading kind of effect should not be happening i don't think it's reloading it itself actually it's just a repetition in the animation and this has to do with the code 
but might be interacting with the elemental code. So I'm talking about the code that I wrote here. So it's the absolute positioning because for example, oh, I can, ah, yeah, I can comment it out or just say false here, but I'm going to do this and you will see what happens if I, um, don't have the absolute positioning uh, set to true. This is because it needs to, so we set to the absolute positioning because uh, the grid transforms into flexbox. So otherwise, if you code this in a plain code, it's not happening. So I am thinking that it's something to do with the grid widget or the code of elementor in, in general, but I don't know what, because it's a lot of code to go through. So let's see again. So if you can live with this, I mean, it's not that bad actually. So you can comment that out if you want. So you don't need to have the absolute positioning in the code. You can just delete it completely. And then the animation will take place like this. Honestly, still not bad. It's kind of interesting, low key. Um, but you have kind of options. It's not completely unusable, I would say. All right. So I said earlier that you need to have the grid to be set to content with uh, full width. So let's see what happens if you set it to boxed. So I uh, turned it to boxed and let's have a preview tested. Um, nothing is actually happening. Do not ask me why. Again, this is one of those mysteries, at least for me, that I cannot comprehend. And when you don't have, vis have visibility to the whole code, it's very difficult to troubleshoot. Now it's set to flexbox, uh, to full width, sorry to full width and it's working again. So I guess it needs space to expand and flip around. <laughs> um, yeah. So if, uh, for whatever reason, this doesn't work, please follow all the steps. Uh, they're very specific and let me know what you think. And if you have a solution for this, maybe it's something that I did not think of who knows. Also keep in mind that this works only with the grid widget. So let's go to convert this grid to flexbox to see what happens. So, um, let's see, I'm going to publish it. Of course the code would have to be, uh, written again for this use case, but I'm not going to do that because I wanted to use the grid and the, this is specific for the grid widget. That's it. I hope you like it. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.